Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays. Today I'm starting another new game. This is Sir You Are Being Hunted. The basic idea of it is that I'm some sort of aristocrat who's been who's performed some kind of strange experiment that as far as I can tell, whilst it's never really specified, has something to do with teleportation or travel. And that's taken me to these islands that are being guarded by these robots that you can see, you can see one of them over there. It's being guarded by these strange, also somewhat aristocratic robots. And if any of them see me, then they will of course attack, because that's what, ro that's what robots do, as we all know. But I can try and stay hidden in, in the woods. Now the object of the game is, well, part, obviously to survive, and that means avoiding the robots and their shooting parties and also finding sufficient quantities of food to keep me alive. No, I think that's a rabbit, that's okay. Is it? Yes, that's just a rabbit. I could probably kill that, um, but I'm not sure how yet. I haven't got any weapons. Anyway, the objective is to find all of the fragments of the device that brought me here, and I'm sure that's device with a capital letter at the beginning of it. And they're, they're going to be scattered around the, around the islands, and they all arrived at extremely high temperature, so there's going to be um, pillars of smoke coming off them. So I should be able to spot them without too much difficulty. As long as I get just about close enough. I can also have a rummage around in houses. It looks like there's something useful in there. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too closely. Well, there's various things to find in the houses. Things like... Um, Alarm clocks that you can set t set timers on and deploy. Same with toy trains; they just make they make noises and things like that. Um, let's not take any rats, just dead rats, just yet, because I'm not that desperate. Um, so yeah, you've got various things you can use to distract the robots. I'm going to take lots of these because they seem to be. I'm sure they're going to be useful. Uh, I suppose I need some dodgy, dubious food. Um, And then we'll go out and have start having a look for um, for the actual things that I'm supposed to be collecting and see how we can see what we can do with them. Ideally, I would like to find a weapon just in case I do get a bit too close to a uh, to a robot or or need to get rid of one. But for now, it seems like these houses basically just contain junk and trinkets, or just junk in the case of this one. I don't know whether I should be taking all this mouldy bread or not. Um, nope, that's the wrong button. Yes. Okay, so where am I? Let, let's head off north first, but I'm not going to actually follow the road because that seems like a bad idea. Just strike off into the wild. Okay, there's a hot air balloon up there. That, as we, that contains at least one of the robots that's, that's hunting for me, so I don't want to get too close to that. Let's head over this way towards that church instead. Try and keep our ears peeled for um, any robot sounds. I can hear a rumbling sound. I'm not sure what that is. But it's definitely making me paranoid. Also, it's starting to get dark, I think. I don't know whether it being dark will make this easier or harder. Definitely some strange noises happening. God, where's the where's the door for this church? I can't find anything in this dark. In this. And there's those blue light thing, things that fly around. Let's take some sherry, that'll be useful. Is that all the church has got to offer? A couple of bottles of sherry. Okay. <laughs> it's just a gravestone. I was wondering what that was for a moment and panicked a bit. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this feels like, yes, this is the edge of the island. So, down there on the jetty, I believe, yes, there's a boat down there at the end of the jetty. And that I can use to take me to the other islands once I'm ready to travel over there. But I think I'm going to try and find all of the, all of the items on this island first. And if I look on my inventory screen, at the bottom here we've got a list of, of what's left to be found. So the north, south, east, west and central islands. And there's four more things, four more 
um, items to be found on this one, and then three on each of the others. So let's continue with this one for now. And I'm looking for plumes of smoke, like probably that one over there. But I think that's a robot next to it guarding it, which is a bit of a shame, but I think to be expected. And I've got plenty of things for distracting them. So let's go over there and see if we can um, liberate the, the trinket. Yes, there's two robots over there. You can see there are the red beams coming off them are essentially there at their headlights. They show what, what direction they're looking in. But fortunately, I don't think their vision is as good as mine, and I don't have a red beam coming off my head, so hopefully I'll be able to get in there, distract them, and uh, go in and nick the trinket. Right, so looking down there, there's a hedgerow, hedgerow running along the edge there. So I've put something behind that with a with a time set on it. What was that? Oh, and um, right, okay. There appears to be some sort of giant robot kraken as well. Um, <laughs> joy. I hear shooting. don't know what it's they're shooting at because I maybe I've been spotted maybe I haven't whatever it is it's distracted those robots I don't know what they're doing I hope they're not flanking the rock no, that one's going back down there, okay. Okay, they're both heading back down. They've been sufficiently distracted by the by the shooting, or dist distracted from the shooting, sorry. But they're going to head back down there and get carry on guarding the, um, the trinket. I can still hear noises coming from up here, which is worrying. Okay, before I get to... Yeah, there's definitely something up here. I can hear it. Okay, I'm going to try and ignore that. Because I don't know what to do about it. Happily, this, this long grass appears to be quite good for hiding me. So you've got my visibility meter in the bottom left. And that shows that when I crouch down and crawl through the grass, I'm completely invisible, and that's rather nice. Okay, so now I think I'm more or less above those robots. So let's have a look. I'm going to have... Um, oh, what's actually edible here? So eat the pickled onions. Okay, that's going to take my vitality back above half again, which is good. Now, if I take one of these alarm clocks... I think... I should be able to set that to an appropriate amount of time. Let's give me a minute. I'll put this down here. And then if I get over here somewhere, find, try and ignore the giant kraken thing. I don't know how dangerous that is. Maybe that's just to stop me going in the water? I'm not sure. But if I go down here into the long grass, they heard me. Okay, I'm now completely invisible, which basically I think means unless they step on me, they won't find me. So now I can wait here till the alarm goes off. Maybe a minute was excessive. How close am I? Okay, not too bad. What are they doing? Are they... Go on, take the bait, take the bait. Uh-oh. I think that one spotted me. He certainly pointed his shotgun at me. Oh, no! 
I don't have. Oh, I dropped my I dropped an alarm clock. That's not good. <laughs> one over there, but... How sneaky can I be? Come on, grab the thing. Okay, this is now actually terrifying. I'm... However, that alarm clock I accidentally dropped could be quite useful, because that's going to go off quite soon. I hope that thing can't reach me on the land. When that go with it, yeah, when that other alarm clock goes off that I accidentally <laughs> dropped like that, hopefully the robots go charging over there past me to investigate it, and I can make a runner. Come on, yeah, like that. Away. Whew, right. Okay, I made it. I've got the trinket, and I've got away. Now the next thing to do is to take the uh, trinket back to the stone circle. So, there's my stone circle. get in the field and hide here for a moment till it goes away. Except it's coming this way. <laughs> oh no. Okay, if I go this way I think it's going to go past me. As long as it doesn't change direction. I need to go that way according to my compass, <laughs> which is just where it's going. <laughs> oh. Come on, clear off. Which way is he looking? Kettle on now, sir. We'll have you home in no time. Right. Phew. Okay, so that's two pieces of um, the artifact. Be very observant, sir. Startled wildlife could help you to spot your pursuers. The eyes and ears of local fauna might be sharper than your own. Okay, so I need to decide where to go now. I've got the one that was over that way, off to the northwest. Let's. I don't want to follow the hot air balloon. That's a bad. That's a bad idea. Let's head over towards these houses. I can have a look. Uh oh, hunting party. In the woods. Feel like they might have spotted me. No, actually, I don't think so. I think they're just patrolling. They just happen to be patrolling directly towards me. Yeah, I think I'm alright. They're making sort of normal patrolling sounds, I think, rather than suspicious, we've seen something and need to, and are going to investigate it sounds. Climb the wall. There we go. This looks like a sort of a posher mansion house type thing. Maybe there'll be some guns here. Or alternatively, maybe there'll just be some mints. A torch. That sounds useful. Although, as it says, um, useful for seeing and being seen. So, 
we turn it on, I'll stick out like a sore thumb. These empty bottles seem potentially useful, but I don't know how they'll be compared to... Ooh, stout. That sounds nice. Let's take some dubious spuds. And some potential bandages. Um, yeah, so having having a torch seems like a really good idea because you'll be able to see, but also you'll be able to be seen as well. There's lots of food available. That's quite nice. Um, might save me having to eat the blight-ridden spuds at any point. But it is filling my inventory up quite a lot. I should probably try and find a house close to the stone circle that's nice and obvious and use it for storing things. Because you can empty your inventory into houses as well as vice versa. This is just a campfire. This isn't a useful smoke. I know you're not used to preparing your own meals, sir. But I'm sure you can master roasting game on an open fire. That smoke can be seen for miles, however, so do be quick. Oh, I'm running out of vitality. Let's drink some stuff. There we go, 100% vitality. Let's, take, let's swap that for that one. Oh, but I've just had a load of sherry, so I'm now drunk. Great. <laughs> That's going to make it much easier to stay um, stealthy. It actually doesn't seem to be affecting my movement too much, just my vision, so that's not too bad. And I sober up quite quickly as well. I guess um, being a member of the landed gentry, I probably am quite experienced at drinking enormous quantities of booze. <laughs> I think my best bet is probably going to be to wander around the, um, the edge of the island, keeping a general eye out for any basically any plumes of smoke from the coast or from further inland. Just trying to make me paranoid. Oh, there's, there's some smoke. So interesting, apart from, there was there was one artifact that was right by the starting position in a kind of tutorial way and even had a press F to examine thing floating over it. So that's, so when discounting that one, let's not scare the wildlife, I don't know, if, I don't know how carefully the robots listen for them. Um, so discounting that one, the two that I've found so far have been on the coast. Oh god, that's quite close. It's very close. heard me. Yeah, both of the both of the artifacts I found have been on the coast, but maybe that's because I've been on the coast looking for them. I'm not sure. <laughs> Pretty sure that robot just said don't tell my wife. Uh oh. I spotted. Run and hide. Okay, this is a good spot. <laughs> it still is all fields. Shush. Okay, I think I need to get round, flank them round the side a bit and get a bit of a, um, a feel for the layout of the land here. And where the robots are and maybe even where they're patrolling. Try and stay in among the. There's one. Okay, I'm basically invisible here, so I can watch them patrolling around. Oh, I can't strafe and lean at the same time. Oh. Don't come this way. God. <laughs> it's terrifying. They're gone. Yes. Okay. Don't step on me. 
has been rolling, but where's it patrolling to? It's going down there. And then back up again, okay. That's not too bad. I can hide down here in this long grass. There we go, I'm completely invisible now, I think. Although, of course, if I alert them and they come down this way, then being hidden doesn't do any good if they sort of come and step on me. This might be a good time for another alarm clock. Forty seconds should be enough, I think. Put that down there. I can hear the giant squid robot kraken thing again. Where's the fire? I've lost the. I've lost the. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Where's the other one? Because one's gone behind that rock. Yeah, that one. Oh, they're both over there. Okay. Oh, in that case, I might be able to sneak in and grab it without alerting them. Oh no, I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Ah! Uh, help! Spotted! Ah! Uh, Run away! I can't believe I went in there with such full inventory. That was really stupid. Ow. Stop shooting me. Where can I hide? Here's a, here's a hedgerow. Here's, here we go, this'll do. Right. Ah, oh, that was really stupid. Although, I have to admit, I wasn't expecting the, um, the artifact to be quite so big. Which is, again, was fairly dumb because the last one I got was that big, but the first one was really small. So what I need to do is go and stow some of the junk I'm carrying in, in one of these houses so I don't lose it. Then get the trinket. Oh, here we go. Here's the door. Right. How do I drop the, just drop things on the floor? I don't know. Let's, let's get rid of the rabbit because that's huge. I don't seem to be bleeding as far as I can tell. Binoculars are useful. I'm going to keep those. Let's get rid of some of the bandages. Discard the stuff that's actually junk. Try and keep some of the stuff that's actually useful. And now we're trying to remember how big that um, artifact was and leave enough space for it. I think it was four, probably 4x4. Four four. So that should be okay. If not, I'll ditch some of these drinks. Uh, let's have a drink a couple of these actually. Now I can get rid of the bottles. Right, let's try that again but with less fail. And this time I'm just going to sneak in there without alerting the robots because they don't seem they don't seem to be alert alert enough for me to actually need a distraction and the distractions don't seem to be quite as effective as I was hoping right this is the way I came out so if I go back in this way I think that's probably going to get me in reasonably safely I hope guess we'll find out I think those blue things are quite good they're sort of they're helpful. They they will guide you in the vague direction of the, of another artifact. So if you if you're stuck and you see them, you can follow them. Okay, they're looking the other way. That one's on the other side of the rock. That one's going away from me. Here we go. I'm practically invisible as long as they don't come and step on me. Okay, they're going away. Take the thing. Oof. I don't know whether they're aware that I picked the, the thing up, but that one looked basically straight towards me and raised his gun. But because I was in cover, it didn't see me. So it's nice to know that cover works. Um, <laughs> but... Oh, it took a lot of effort to not panic and leap up and run away. Which would, of course, completely have given me away. Are they now... I think... Yes, they're aware that I've taken the, the trinket. 
So they're going off to go and patrol the rest of the island now. Which makes sense. But presumably that means it's, it's going to get gradually harder as I get further, as I collect more and more of the artifacts. Because there'll be more and more robots just wandering around the island looking for me. That's pretty... I mean... I have to admit that's probably quite good for balancing purposes. <laughs> I can't really complain. But, yeesh, nonetheless. Finding some weapons would be quite nice. An actual gun or a, even a hatchet or something like that. Ooh, cheese. Cheese and biscuits, nice. Mmm, pie. Are Weeble and Bob still culturally relevant? I have no idea. Let's go and hand this trinket in and see what else we can find. There's the stone circle. There's the hunting party. Who were, as far as I could tell, just shooting at random. I'm kind of out in the open here. I don't like this. Okay, they're not looking this way. Hot air balloon's a decent distance away. Tag. You're it. A few more of those, and we can activate the device. A few more being, what, 14? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's three artifacts collected and another 14 to go, as we said. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to call that an episode now and I hope you'll join me for the next one. It's been um, interesting sneaking around this weird and wonderful moorland and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to another, another episode of it. I hope to see you then. <laughs>